Well, hello everybody and welcome back to episode 39 of my let's play of Throwbreaker The Witcher Tales, the single player part or standalone single player part of Gwyneth, the Witcher card game. I'm Avatopia and we just nip to the tent and see what he has to say. Hmm, great writer. So let's see, is there anything new? So Gascon, the soldier's life, does it suit you? <laughs> About the same as the bandit's life did. Did I go to bed? I beg your pardon? The tents are cold, the food shite. On the plus wow. side, plenty to drink, most days. Hmm. A skirmish here, a scuffle there, Nilfgaardians one day, elves the next, and whoever we rout, we rob of what they've got. Requisition, you mean? Yeah. Fully <laughs> in accordance with the laws of war. Oh, please. Save your excuses for your father, confessor. <laughs> wow. Why do they call you the Duke of the Dogs? How did your men break into La Represo? Break into La Represo. I can't stop wondering. How did your strays break into the tower in Lyria? They exploited its chief weakness. What was? What weakness is that? I oversaw its construction myself. Walls five feet thick. Bars and grates of the sturdiest iron. All tremendous, I'm sure. But how much do you pay the guards? <laughs> pay the guards? I, I don't know. The garrison's commander is in charge of that. Let me tell you then. Not much, Meave. Not much at all. Do you have the more? From atop a throne, it's hard to spot the little things. Example, a guard hard up for coin, or one with ambitions. But seeing that, second nature to even the most ordinary bandit. Take any castle door. To open it, to open all, one needs but a pouch of gold. Wow. Why did they call you the Duke of Dogs? The Duke of Dogs. Duke though. Whence the name? Not certain I should tell you. What? It's uh, a personal story somewhat. I insist. So, thing is... I'm a werewolf of sorts. What? Did I hear werewolf? Of sorts. We have you see, when the full moon glows in the night sky, I transform into a creature that's half man, half dash hund. I was going to say he's having us on. Especially when he pulls and then I was thinking in my head. He's basically having a laugh with us and he goes, dash on. The way he said it, he says it's a laugh. And then all the other hounds of the night hearken to my command? Oh! Yep, told you. Oh, forget I asked. <laughs> oh, with pleasure. Wow. How many go? time I attended to other matters. Farewell. Yes, Your Grace. Why can't I see through Cadwell? I cannot forgive myself one thing. That I failed to see through Coldwell's schemes. He must have plotted treason for months, years even. Yet I suspected nothing. Don't be too hard on yourself, Your Grace. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Easily said. Ugh, if I'd only realized it in time. Nilfgaard would have found a different traitor, or sent an assassin north. Yeah, I guess you're it right. It's unavoidable what happened. The Black Clads would have attacked in any case. And we'd have stood no chance to defeat the foe in open battle. Repel him, drive him out. So, had you been there when the peers assembled, you also would have voted to bend the knee? No. My honor would never have allowed it. I'd have thrown myself into the fire and probably died a fool for it. Hmm. As matters stand, I still have a chance to thwart the invader, his intentions. Yep. It seems, in a twisted turn of fate, I should be grateful to Cordwell. Okay. <laughs> I guess it is twisted for thinking that way. How far we fall. How has it come to this? I, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia, must prowl about the underbrush like a common bandit. And you, General Rayna Dodo, once proud Dodo. commander of four elite regiments of footmen, now lead a gang of deserters, bandits, and scythe wielding peasants. He's so happy about behind. <laughs> I do so proudly, Your Grace. You must be joking, Rainer. Yeah, what do you mean? Why? Your Majesty, under your husband I served ten years. Under okay. you, another eight. And never in that time did I fight for a more worthy cause. Yeah, oh, okay, I can see your point. We seek not to Thank grab you. land, or stifle a peasant revolt. We fight for all the North. For our freedom, that of others. 
the north. And you alone didn't give up. Never. And even consider bending the knee before Nilfgaard. Thank you. Yes, all true. Yet look where it's brought me. Your struggle has but begun, Your Grace. Yeah, and well, I will do when... all in my power to see you triumph in the end. Thank you very much. I think I'm gonna need you. It's time I attended to other matters. So we've done over two hours, ten minutes apparently. Total time spent. Current map. Oh, current map. I was gonna say, I've played more longer than that. It's a current map. Quest complete. One. Puzzles complete. One. Standard battles. One. And two and nine golden chests found. Nice. Who are you Have again? Fair, you, Rayla. Oh the yeah, I remember you. Did he assign you a tent? He tried. I mean, he tried. Oh, and I refused it. Best to sleep beneath the stars. Little chance of a foe catching you off guard. Okay. Rain accepted, perhaps. Yeah. I'm not made of sugar, ma'am. I'm not going to melt. Hmm. It's a tongue on, aren't you? What is how did you come to join them? One sees very few women in the ranks, let alone in the special forces. How did you come to join? On merit? Proved I'd be of use. That's good, though. Yes, well, naturally. But how exactly? I was 15 when I went to enlist. But the sergeant in charge of signing folk up told me to scurry on home. So I proposed a wager, arm wrestling. If I won, he'd let me join. If I lost, I'd pay him a hundred crowns. Oh, okay. And that kind of coin? You had it? She didn't about you, she lied. Nope. No, <laughs> so I had to win. As we sat down at the table, cross from each other, he laughed and rolled up his sleeve. When it was over, all around us were laughing at him. <laughs> then I just followed orders. Did so well enough to draw the king's attention. Okay. I must go. Interesting. I'll speak later. Yeah. So yeah. And then we Worked in a mess once at oh. serving old meat, not I even can't. sausage. <laughs> Weren't long before the men rioted. Wow. Anything else? What can I pour you, my lady? Vizima's mm. finest, or a nice Redanian bitter? Mm, the bitter will do. Thank you very much. Oh, quiet in here. Not at all like the airy bear. I don't know, I hear like a lot of talking, so... Milady, they're an yes. Odrin in our ranks. Man calling himself that ran up quite the tab last night, then wow. disappeared with nary a trace. Seriously? Ah, uh, if a troubadour paid us a visit, wouldn't that be something? Imagine Master Dandelion. Oh, yeah. Come in here. That'd be cool. Worked in a mess once at serving no meat, not even sausage. Oh, I'll go back around what we just said. long before the men rioted. Anything else to say? Is that it? Oh, quiet in here. Yeah, so he was about like six or seven there. lines, wasn't I? Not bad, though. What are you? I'll oh, just resume your gamey part. Training ground. So I guess we're done for now. So I don't want to waste that too much, because in case we need to spend any while we're traveling. The help or whatever. So I guess we keep going. And we're here. What down here before we enter? Oh yeah, because it looks like it's all trapped in there. It's this. Oh, it's giving it the location. Oh yeah, you can scout stuff. Point of interest. I was going to say, Thunderback, I like because I've gone this way, so if I go up. Probably do this first. Puzzle down there. 50 for scouting. Okay. Not bad. So I like to go back this way and do these first, I think. Yeah, assuming she can. Oh, I'll have to just to get down there. Okay. This is not the quest, is it? The quest is further up, correct? Yeah, it's just a point of interest. Okay, good. So before we talk to them, we're going to do a little save and exit to the main menu. And then we can jump back in quickly. Continue, because it doesn't take that much to load, does it? It was good. I just want to start the main quest without covering other things first, so. 
Okay, our emerald black eagle or something. As Meave neared Gatberg, her eyes were drawn at once to the black pennants flying over its palisades. Nilfgaard's pennants. Her scouts found the city's buildings intact, its streets unstained by blood. Black-clad soldiers could be seen guarding storehouses holding loot pillaged from nearby settlements. Curiously, these soldiers were very few in number. Hmm, we could take them. The gates stand open. Clearly the Imperials expect no attack, giving us the element of surprise. We can take back the city and... And make off with the gold. Gascon finished. <laughs> Meave hated Nilfgaard it. and needed gold to maintain her army. Two very good reasons to attack Gatlin. Yep. Her decision made, she ordered her men to prepare for battle. Now the invaders would have to try their hand at defending. Larvan! I say to nothing! Yeah, Nazi Fate! Miss Fate! <laughs> the Queen had feared the shoulders would not caught death for the sake of a little city. After all, why risk one's neck for a neighbor's home when you have yet to reclaim your own? Nevertheless, Mew's infantry fought vigorously, furiously, never breaking in the face of the Guardian onslaught. The tri trifling differences among Glararians, Templars, and Corinth is no longer mattered. Openly, they were people of the North, and they must answer each other's call. Hint, attack weaker units. Special rules, okay. Let's attack weaker units, was the hint. Okay, one bow, good. Okay, so that can attack weak, what you do. Spine resistant after two turns. On turn start, boost up by the power of the unit on the right, the mutual opponent, so, so put them next to one, and then move back to me. Ah, that's the one I thought I had before, all copies. Okay, you're good. Play a random ally from your graveyard. I'm not really have many men graveyards to kill him, so I'm gonna swap you. Loyal, so her loyal boost him. One charge units with depleted order. Maybe get an order back. Nah. Turn starts. No, you're there, I don't want the same. That would be reasonable, but. Feel at home here, the I want the fire. Let's then get it. Then get it. Hundred and one, hundred and two, twenty one. After two allies appear, boost yourself by six and gain resilience. Okay, after two allies appear, boost by six. <laughs> then he's killed. He needs to be killed then. Um. They won't go down quick enough, will I? But then again, you keep hammering more all the time, won't it? The chase is on! Yeah, so we keep taking damage since I don't have the fireworks. I do fear right now. It's like it's not two turns every time, is it? Because it means sugar. It is. I'm gonna take say a point off every turn. So, and then time he comes back round, he's lost two things in six, he's gaining four, so he's still gaining. But then again, if he gets one really high, I can use that to jump me ahead, so I might leave this one. Mm, don't want to move free yet. Ever an Emil ally card has moved. So get you out there early. Really thought things were about to get dull. Oh, a little early, shall we? Order! Okay, hopefully just no one time. No signs of fighting. These horses must have opened the gates for the black lads. Yeah, ain't good. Okay, so I don't think he is going round. So basically, I can keep damaging the higher one to get down. But then again, if he gets now, it's way too gets the highest because if he's getting damaged, I can steal that one from him. So I'll leave that right now. Uh, don't want to deploy you yet, then. Don't want because it's not free, otherwise, I'm forcing to move the higher one, so not yet. I want to use you. Probably someone. Uh, not yet. I guess the loyal one's all I can do right now. This we'll be reaping black clad heads. 
And with that, I think we're going to end this episode. So please like, please subscribe. Please tune in next time. This has been Avatopia saying have a great day out there. And of course, share this video. See you next week and we'll continue. Bye.